guys welcome back so I was just kind of sitting here in my beauty space and looking at some things that I use on a regular basis that I know that I need to repurchase because I stay on Amazon <laughs> and when I'm running out to the store you know if I need to stop by Walgreens or CVS or something like that and grab some necessities then I like to just kind of keep a list of what I'm running low on in my beauty collection, makeup products, skincare products, things like that, so I can grab them while I'm out. And I said, you know what, KK, while you're in here looking at the things that you need to repurchase, why don't you let your viewers know what the products are that you buy constantly and that you cannot live without, okay? <laughs> So that's basically what this video is, is me just sharing products with you that I have repurchased over and over again or things that maybe I haven't repurchased yet because it's things that last forever that I haven't run out of. But if I do get low, oh, I'm for sure repurchasing it or things that I have backups of that I really don't <laughs> need, but I have backups because, you know, we have this fear of either them not selling something we love anymore or running out of it so anyways that's what this video is so I'm gonna run through pretty quick because it's quite a few quite a few <laughs> so the first one is this VC effector 10 from its skin and what this is is this is a vitamin C serum and of course you know serums are great for your skin but for this one I really like it it's like when I use it my skin just instantly brightens up it helps with dark spots you know if you use it repeatedly it helps to keep your skin hydrated and it's just really nice I usually grab like a two or three pack on Amazon these run about 10 bucks I think give or take so you know you can get like a two pack for like $19.99 or something like that and if you use it on a regular basis like I do, you can go through this, you know, like in a month or so. But I like it a lot. So this is something I definitely use over and over again. And this is about my fourth bottle. Now, this is part of the Korean skincare where it's like they have a whole, I don't know if it's 10 steps, 20 steps, but it's a lot of steps to their skincare regimen. This is part of that. And this is just one that I used and I love. So I repurchase this all the time. Next, I do love my Neutrogena Hydro Boost Water Gel. This is like a face moisturizing I don't know it's like it has hyaluronic acid in it but it's kind of um you know more like that water gel type situation so it just feels really good and this is kind of low so I need to <laughs> I need to restock on this one but yeah it just it smells good it feels good it's really really nice it just it really leaves my skin feeling like somebody just threw a bucket of water on me in a good way you know it just I like this stuff so that I repurchase all the time also my elf hydration moisturizer this is the daily one so it's a very lightweight cream moisturizer it comes in this little handy tube sometimes this little pump Cause it's like you put you store it upside down and it has a pump it gets on my nerves sometimes because there's still product and it's kind of hard to get it out because of the design but this is perfect for those days where you just get up you know you take a shower wash your face and all that stuff and you just want to run to target or you just need to run some errands or something and you just want a quick light daily moisturizer this is perfect for that it's nothing heavy it's not anything that's going to remarkably change your skin <laughs> it's just a great lightweight daily moisturizer it has a slight scent to it but it's really nice I like it not heavy at all now when it comes to cleansing my face I keep these on deck y'all might notice I like elf <laughs> there's a lot of elf products that I like because they're affordable some that I don't like some that I think is not the best but there's a lot of skincare products that I like from them and also a few makeup items this is the elf daily face cleanser and this one is made with purified water so is the daily um, moisturizer but this I go through these like <laughs> constantly because I use these all the time like I use different 
you know products to help remove makeup and stuff like that because you know when you put on makeup as much as I do sometimes you need to get in with something a little bit more aggressive but for a daily face cleanser I really like this elf one because it's lightweight it just has a nice mild scent to it it feels good it has kind of like a little bit of a jelly type texture to it and it gets my face nice and clean I really like this stuff now oftentimes I'll go in with the Neutrogena ultra light cleansing oil along with my elf daily face cleanser and you know just to take my makeup off and stuff it's really easy it works great I'll squeeze some of this in my palm pump a little bit of this in my palm rub it together and rub it all over my face and it works really well when I'm just over the sink and I want to just wash my face get my makeup off really quickly I'll mix these two together but this stuff here the ultralight cleansing oil is very very nice for cleansing your face taking makeup off and stuff as well if you do like to use just a lightweight oil it's not anything heavy or anything it's really nice it leaves your skin very very soft so me personally I like to use these two together okay next for skincare as well I use face masks all the time I prefer the peel off kind I don't know maybe it's because they're fun or whatever but I use all kind the clay mask peel off mask sheet mask I use all kind but one that I will buy over and over and over again and this one is actually getting low <laughs> too so I need to restock on this is this cucumber peel off mask I like this one it clarifies and renews your skin and this one when I use it and take it off my skin feels so smooth it really does feel renewed so I like this one there's a few of them that I really like a lot but this is one that I have to have on my shelf all the time so I have to repurchase this and these you can get like at Ulta Walmart there's a lot of places where you can get these from drugstores very easy to to grab one while you're on the go now this I came across earlier this year this Olay Mist Illuminate Hydration Essence this is the energizing one they have different ones um, that you can try out but when this first came out I was like oh I want to try that and I really like this stuff I use this really for one purpose and one purpose only when I just want to add a quick boost of hydration to my face a lot of times you might see me use this before I go in with my makeup I'll spray this on my face and then go in with a moisturizer after um, just to get that double <laughs> double impact of moisture but this is like a quick just immediate boost of hydration to your face if your skin is dry or you're feeling like uh, you know you need a little bit of a boost this stuff is great the Olay Mist Ultimate Hydration Essence and I'm getting a little low on this but I like to use that before I use whatever moisturizer I'm going to use. I don't know why, that's just how I like to use it. Okay, so let's move on to some face products. I think I'm just going to go kind of like somewhat in the order of how I use them. A product that I cannot live without is my LA Girl Slim Shady Eyebrow Pencil. Okay, this mug it's just perfect for me the one that I get is the blackest brown I believe I order these from Amazon I get a three pack for like $12.99 it's so easy perfect the color fits me it's easy for me to just fill in my brows quickly I use this when more so when my brows are nice and neat and you know plucked and threaded and all that stuff because it's very easy to just fill it in and give me that fullness that I like it has a spoolie on one end and a very very fine tip which with these you kind of have to be careful because if you twist it up too much it will break and you will lose your product so I try not to twist it up too much just a little bit so that you know I don't end up breaking it and losing product but these I have to have in my possession at all times if I even think I'm getting low I order me a three pack so I love this eyebrow pencil also for brows I always have to keep my elf lock on liner and brow pomade on deck this lasts me a good while because you know it's a decent amount in here it's a nice uh nice decent amount this one that I use is espresso and what, is it what I have on my brows today no today I used 
I'm trying out this Maybelline Tattoo Studio for my brows right now and I actually like this stuff a lot too but I really um, like the elf because it's extremely affordable you guys know if you are a diva on a budget elf is great so I have to have these on deck at all times now for eyeliner you guys know I'm always reaching for my wet and wild black liquid eyeliner I have about four or five of these in my drawer right now because I'm constantly using this stuff now I don't know I just used this way back when I wasn't even really doing like a full face of makeup when I was just playing around with eyeliners and stuff like this wet and wild was always my go-to so I love it because it has a nice thin brush tip now, now when you're purchasing these you really got to pay attention to the packaging because they have different brushes some of them have a felt tip some of them have you know just a regular brush tip and I like the brush tip I hate felt tip brush felt tip liners so I have to be really careful because the packaging is basically the same it's just a different tip so anyways my favorite I also like the elf liquid eyeliners and I just tried out the NYX too and I'm like okay NYX I use the NYX today and I mean it has a really long thin precise brush tip so I like the NYX one as well but if I was like out somewhere and they were like okay you got to run in the store just grab everything you need for your makeup today I'm grabbing the wet and wild now this is something that I found out not too long ago that I love. This is the Pixie by Petra Lash Lift Mascara. Now I got this in one of my monthly subscription boxes y'all and I love this stuff okay. It's, it's almost impossible for me to find a mascara that I really like because you guys know I don't wear falsies when I do it's a pain in my butt. So I'm always looking for a mascara that I really really like this one I love I love the applicator I like how it separates my lashes and disperses the product it's like the perfect consistency it's not too thin not too heavy it's one of the applicators that's like plastic you know the hard plastic with the really short thin teeth and I used to hate these but I actually love them now <laughs> I, I guess I had to learn how to work with them but yeah I love it but what I really like about this mascara is it's, it has a double wand so the top wand is a really small thin one for your lower lashes very very small and then the second one is the bigger one for your upper lashes so I love this stuff I'm just about out so means I need to repurchase the only thing I don't like about Pixie is even though they're in the drugstore they're in Target and stuff they're not that cheap they're they're really not that cheap so anyways I like that mascara now for lips and I'm going a little bit out of order but it's all good for lips <laughs> I know what you guys are screaming right now if you're a regular viewer you already know for my lips what am I lining it with nothing other than my Ellery and Colourpop lip liner pencil okay now this is a brand new one that I took out my drawer I don't need to open this because I have these things all over the place but my favorite lip liner of all time is the Colourpop Ellery lip liner I don't know what it is about this cranberry shade and the pencil itself is just so smooth and creamy going on it's just perfect with lipsticks with lip gloss just by itself this is like it's my favorite y'all know that <laughs> Um, I also like the BFF4 though. I just recently tried that out when I bought the Shayla and Colourpop collection. So I really like the BFF4 lip pencil. Now I don't really have any lipsticks that I say I repurchase because I have not had to repurchase a lipstick. I don't wear lipstick enough for me to go through a whole lipstick. You know I wear different ones too much. I just haven't repurchased a lipstick. But for lip gloss. Now my favorite lip gloss was the Alyssa Ashley and Elf collab lip gloss and I went on the website and I couldn't find it no more I don't know if it was just gone that day or what I'm gonna have to look again but I'm like did they stop 
making it? Did they stop selling it? What's the deal? I'm like, Alyssa, you beefing with Elf too? What's happening? <laughs> I'm just playing. But anyways, yeah, I was looking for that lip gloss and it's gone. So, you know, I've been looking for other ones that I really like. And I came across this Essence Shine 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 Wet Look Lip Gloss. I like these. I like how they look. They look very nice and I like how they feel. I have on a matte lip right now. I don't know if I really want to put no gloss on it, but let me just see if you can see that. That's what the gloss looks like. So it's a really, really pretty gloss. It looks amazing by itself, but it also looks great with the lip liner on top of lipsticks. I like it and it's comfortable. It doesn't have that nasty sticky feel to it. So yeah, I like it a lot. And they have different colors. They have like pink ones, gold ones, whatever. They just have different shades for you to choose from. Okay, so let's move on to the face. Let's talk about uh, primer. Elf Poreless Face Primer. I've been using this since day one of me playing in makeup, on YouTube, all that stuff. This is a primer that I always have to have somewhere in my collection whether I'm using it or not whether I'm trying other ones or not I have to have this I love this stuff it fills in my pores nicely it's funny out of all the different primers that I've tried some of them you know they create a nice base they help your makeup to stay on longer blah 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 but as far as poor feeling I have a difficult time finding primers that actually fill my pores like they say they do this one does I like this stuff and it feels really good it's nice and smooth and creamy it doesn't dry my skin out you know like a lot of mattifying primers do sometimes it just kind of sucks your skin dry and doesn't really do much else but this one here I have no complaints about this when I use it it does everything that I want it to do fills my pores mattifies my skin it's nice and moisturizing and it helps my makeup to stay on so yeah I have to have that one <laughs> Now for foundation, if you were to ask me, hey, you know, you out of foundation, you need to run and grab something that you know is going to work for you that's affordable. It is the Maybelline Superstay 24 hour. Hello. <laughs> Period. That's it. This one right here. Okay. I've tried a lot of foundations that I really, really like or I love or they look amazing on my skin and all that stuff. But... I would hate to have to sit here and think okay is this one better than this one is this one is should I get this one is this one too matte is this one too dewy this one is perfect for me so I don't have to do no thinking I know I can run in the store grab this one grab what is it coconut is that my shade <laughs> 356 and uh yeah that's it I'm good to go so yeah this uh Maybelline Superstay 24 hour ride or die all day long okay now for concealer i have tried out a few concealers that i'm i'm feeling right now some i'm not so much feeling but some i am feeling elf is a new one that i really like but if i had to just choose one it would be revolution my revolution conceal and define in c13 honey is is fail proof i don't care what foundation i have on i don't care what is going on this one is fail proof for me i know it's always going to work the color the coverage the blendability everything it's just revolution conceal and define honey okay for powder oh you know what let me just talk about this right quick i haven't had to repurchase this this is my revolution cut crease canvas i'm still working on this same bottle and y'all know i use the heck out of this stuff okay i've been working on this for what almost a year now and I use it in most of my eye looks. If I'm cutting my crease, I'm using this. And I like this stuff. It, there is a bit of a learning curve with it because it can crease if you use too much. You definitely do not want to use the applicator that comes in here because it's useless. You have to use your own brush. But as far as just giving me a nice white blank cut crease to work on, this stuff... I love it. Like I said, there is a learning curve to it, but once you figure it out, it's so easy. So yeah, when I run out of this, I'm definitely going to restock. As a matter of fact, I'm going to buy another one just in case. <laughs> just in case. Okay, so back to the face. 
my favorite powder if you're a regular viewer you know it's the collab loose setting powder i use the what is this almond caramel yeah i use the almond caramel basically just to set under my eyes and in my highlighted areas i love this powder because i just bought this actually because i left my other one with my husband <laughs> and didn't bring it so I just went ahead and ordered another one you can only purchase collab products from Sally Beauty Supply which I hate because I never shop at Sally's like who shops at Sally's <laughs> but anyways I ordered this online so I did grab this but I really like this powder I don't know if the camera will pick up but it just has a really nice almond caramel tone to it because I just hate that super yellow look under my eyes I don't I like something a little more warm and caramelly so I like this powder now this powder it is a little bit thicker so if you like something that's super duper duper finely milled and just kind of poofs in the air this is not it it's a little bit thicker so if you don't like a little bit of a thicker powder you might not like this I use it very lightly with a brush y'all know I don't go in heavy with powder under my eyes because it ain't that serious to me so now for my face I don't have a face powder that I'm just totally in love with that is technically a true face setting powder because I don't like any of them I just started using the kiss professional foundation powder that I got I like it I like it so I'm pretty close to saying I love it but I like it now what I do use to set my face after I go in with my collab setting powder you know in my highlighted areas is this elf constantly bronzed pressed powder now technically this is a bronzer but for me, I like to use it to set my face because I like the color, the tone of it. It just works for me. The consistency of it is very, very light. I just tap a little bit and it sets the rest of my face. And I like the warmth, the warmth that it brings to my face. So, uh, I bet I'll be getting sick. So, I like to use this. I have about two or three of these. They're all over the place. It is the e.l.f. Constantly Bronzed pressed powder but I use it to set my face okay now for bronzer I use my morphe glamour bronze <laughs> this is something where of course I have not had to repurchase it because you get a lot in this baby okay you get a lot in here and I anticipate this lasting me for quite a while even though I use the heck out of this stuff but this is something that I definitely am going to repurchase you know with my addiction tendencies I probably will pick it up on the next sale just to have a backup and because you know sometimes they stop carrying stuff so this Morphe Glamour Bronze if you like a nice warm bronzy look and you about my skin tone I guess this is perfect I love it and it lasts all day now for blush another elf product okay I have a million blushes y'all I have a million of a lot of things <laughs> but for blush something that I have bought over again I have repeatedly bought is my elf um always spicy so this one is called always spicy and it kind of looks like a pressed powder but this blush is perfect for brown skin girls it just gives you a nice flush of color let me show you what it looks like but it just gives you a nice flush of color on your cheeks i don't even know how to describe this shade because it does have like a brown tone to it but it's a very light rosy tone to it as well so if you want to try out blush but you don't want something that's going to be extremely bold and bright on your skin tone this is a good place to start very affordable from elf of course but it just looks really nice i'm actually wearing it today okay so you can see how it looks on a full face of makeup it just adds a nice light flush of color to your cheeks so this is the always spicy from elf now lastly to set all of this in place okay i probably bought about four of these and honey i'm about to buy me some more <laughs> 
Harvey Continuous Setting Spray. I think they put something in here, okay? They put something in here to make people addicted to this stuff because if you once you use this stuff, it's like you you just can't stop. It feels so good going on. It's just like that continuous light mist. And not only that, this stuff works. It sets your makeup, holds it in place all day. It's really, really nice. Now, I believe this, is this, does this give you a matte finish? Because um, it must give me a matte finish because I like this stuff. You know, I don't really go for the dewy finish setting spray. So I'm assuming it gives me more of a matte finish. But y'all, I like this stuff. It feels good. It smells good. And it works. So I'll be, they'll be getting my $15 <laughs> for a long long time okay because i love this stuff so anyways i y'all i'm getting tired i just got tired all of a sudden i don't know why but anyway that is all of the products that your girl buys over and over again repeatedly that i cannot run out of period point blank okay so yeah let me know down in the comments are any of these products ones that you love that you have to have as well maybe you hate them and <laughs> you're like you know what Camille that's trash I don't like it let me know in the comments down below honey because I'm curious your girl wants to know so anyways that's it for this video you guys thanks so much for watching and I will see you on the next one Toodles.